nature can be a place that feels free and a place that feels gentle and a place that you can walk forever and never get to the end of it. And you can find yourself a little better. You can hear yourself a little better and see beautiful mountains and spaces that hardly anyone ever gets to see. Nature smells so many different ways. It smells crisp. And it smells crisp and warming at the same time. You smell the rain hitting it and it does feel like transition sort of smell and what is washing away and the new smell that gets uncovered maybe. The smells maybe ripe in the way that something feels really ready to exist or be. Good morning, how are you? Um, a documentary about me and wild diversity. Yeah. Um, uh, these two slutty people are making it, I don't know. <laughs> we have Next Adventure who can sponsor us the snowshoes. And then we have, I'll talk to Kane to see like just for that group, if they can like do sizes and support us with some waterproof boots. And then um, let me go through your email more thoroughly later this week. And, uh, you can touch me. All right. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Yesterday, since I did um, so many back and forth on this road, I saw two red-tailed hawks and a herring, a blue herring. It was a very good birding day. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. It's so good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh look, look at the eagles. It's because he has a fish. It's a tiny one. Good job. Way to hold on to it. I'm an angler! Right? Do I have to catch something to be an angler? Uh, helps. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> I was at the My People's Market, which is that multicultural market. I don't, I've never seen that many brown people in Portland in one space ever. Thinking about like community and how to connect community. I've seen other people with POC organizations thinking about ways that they can find people to join to like if i'm hosting an event for a person of, people of color like like how am i going to find these people where are they going to come from because those are you're trying to create space for community because you know it's needed but you're like where are all my people at get it get it holland did you get it 
Hi everyone, I am hitting the road right now. I am super stoked, super excited. It's gonna be day one of 50 of Outward Bound course. I'm crossing my fingers that we have 50 sunny days. I'm just really excited. And also I wanted to extend gratitude for everybody being supportive and Outward Bound for providing scholarships and also being really supportive for me. So here we go. I'll see you guys in 50 days. Bye. This is where we slept last night. I thought it was going to be in April Fool's stroke, but it wasn't. This was night one. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> and you can see a little residue of like ice and snow on our tarp. Today's day five. I got to captain a class two rapids and um, I was looking forward to it but now I'm just in love with it. Hey fam. <laughs> Shut in? up, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> the first pitch seems a little difficult and the next two are gonna be easy. Uh, what are you building, Lauren? This here? Mm -hmm. Hole? Yes. It's also known as a cold sink. <laughs> and what does a cold sink do? Well, science tells us. That when crazy white people are camping, what happens? <laughs> we are here at South Sister Summit Crater. It is super beautiful up here. Today, I was leader of the day. I still am, actually. And, uh... I don't know, it was an interesting day. I got a lot of props throughout the week for my leadership. But today as leader of the day, it didn't feel really awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. This is from my friend Jess. She's like, how are you? Are you so buff from being, in the outdoor, being an outdoor badass? And I'm not, because we get seconds and thirds all the time for food. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be so prepared for the zombie apocalypse. And somebody I met uh, while playing roller derby once or twice. Um, they said, I've been following your journey on Facebook and I'm so inspired by what you're doing with Wild Diversity. Um, I saw you post about Outward Bound and I love a handwritten card so I thought I'd reach out and offer some encouragement and let you know that you're inspiring people even beyond what you know and this person is from New Jersey Jersey City Liz. Can I give you this, please? Um, there's one more person that's signing theirs. I'm the leader of the day today, so I get to lead all the organization prep. Nice. Do you like doing that? Yeah, I do. 
<laughs> Wait, who's around? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Have a seat, everyone. So the first thing I want to get a hold of is seeing who has locations that they need to scout. Hunter, you're all set? You're all set. Okay. Teddy, you know where all your stuff is happening? I have a pretty good idea. Okay. Is there anything you need to scout? Uh, I just haven't been to the campsite yet. Yeah, so yes, you have something to scout. <laughs> Does anyone else need a lo scout locations today? We have a LNT lesson. Is that something that you will have time to talk to us about today? Yeah, and I think what we should talk about is because it was already meant to be integrated. Hold on. Okay. Um, I think L and T it feels really important to me because I really like your idea of embedding it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds pretty rad to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you only got half of the group paying attention, so but you got confirmation from that half. Okay, I'm gonna shake that off. I'm still carrying it. A couple deep breaths. Let's have a good time today. All right, everyone, circle up. Right now we're gonna load the trailer. So there's a com box, cooler, rock boxes. Let's get those in first, okay? And then we can do a fire line for everything else. Now's a good time, now's a good time. Let's go, Steven. Come on, Tenny, you can do it. What's going on first? Com box, rock boxes. So we need to move the stuff into the trailer before the meeting. Uh, I mean, it needs to go in the trailer before or after the meeting. Before. Well, the meeting's going to be right here and all of our stuff's right here. Then that makes so sense if we move it once, well, can they use webbing, you think? Yeah, okay. but I just wanted to see if that was possible because people were concerned. Is there a way to get additional webbing? Yeah, yeah we should have tons of webbing. So we maybe we could replace that with some of the longer webbing. Yeah, yeah, there's tons of 30-foot webbing. You can definitely use that. I can, I can go with you on that. We maybe want to wait to pull that? Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. What were you saying? I feel like every time I'm leader of the day, my job gets halfway taken away from me and given to some fucking guy. It's not fair. Anytime a guy's leader of the day, they like find extra stuff for him to do. When I'm leader of the day, then they give some guy half of my job every time. So today, we're, yeah, doing a gear pack. Um, I got a list right here, and Jake has a list. This list, Ralph has kind of crafted, and the numbers seem to represent, I feel like they represent, he feels like they represent all of the streams that are coming and all of the people that will be leaving and what time they need to leave that stream. So After that 50 days, I hated the outdoors.
I remember my hikes after that was just reliving these traumatic interactions. I felt guilty and I felt really bad. It's like everything I was doing I needed to apologize for. It's almost like I didn't know how much I was carrying and how hard it was just to be myself. It was just like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. Um, I got scholarships, you know, there's fundraisers, and I felt embarrassed that that thousands of dollars, this was a $7,000 course, was wasted for me to have that experience. And one that I didn't want to talk about after, you know, after people give their money, like I had, there's a stranger who donated 500 bucks. I still don't even know who that person was. And you know, you're coming back and they're expecting to hear highlights of your trip. But I, I didn't have any. The little ring that these big white established organizations have is that they get all the funding because they're big, white, and established. If the funding will be like, have more diversity, they're just like, oh, we did one program for this brown organization. It's hurtful because it feels like being used every time. <sighs> on the trees right now, I'm like, can't, oh no. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like taste buds. Taste buds? Taste like buds. on the tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what tracks it, it's beautiful system. And there? I think it looks like We're hair. We're all ecological yeah, beings, it's including it's our it's dust. It's yeah. <laughs> like just a little jewel in the middle. Basically, the lake's over there. Just so go on way the other over side there. of the trail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Bye, guys.
How big are the ones on that bush? Um, well, we have some pretty big ones right there. Like right behind you. Like right here. Oh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, those Yours are so are, cute. I know, mine are smaller. They're mine. Do you wanna, These ones are smaller. Do you want to put them all in the same balance? <laughs> I should yeah. claim it. <laughs> yeah, I think over time, like, my definition of success has really changed because right now, like, we're in nature and we're picking berries. Like, this is successful. This is, I feel success. Fucking success. Yeah. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> For sure. I'm glad I could help. I hope you can use some. Oh, like you don't do the reading, you just let people... Yeah, like pull a card for themselves. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even like you're like talking about trees and I'm just like, what? <laughs> like I'm mesmerized when I go out in nature, but I never like... I broke the box, so it doesn't really I seal it. I think nature connection looks different for different people, you know? Like for some it's knowing names, but I think what's most important is relationship. It doesn't mean having to know names or knowing, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, I feel like I, when I first started learning like names and stuff, I got really like intimidated because there's this whole like, um, identification, like, uh, what is it called? Like, um, competition that can happen sometimes like with birding. Oh my gosh. People go really intense with birding. And I'm just like, like y'all just calm down. <laughs> like, I think what is important to me is like, however people tend to relationship is like that's what I want to support and for some it's it just looks so many different ways for a lot of people you know I don't know yeah I just wanted to give some voice and um and acknowledgments for the ancestors of this place um the Malala people I just hope to ask permission for us to be here and I want to read this poem by Lila June if you separate the people from the land, their bodies may live, but the people will die. She weaves our languages together with grassy plain glottal stops and buffalo breath. You can separate us from the land, but then we will have nothing to speak about. We will remain in this land or the people will perish. Let's, uh, what was the energy swoosh oh, thing? Swoosh clap. <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, for the record, you don't have to catch the whoosh clap. It just absorbs into your skin. Feel it. So now you're sending while receiving. We're going oh. to the right. Ready? <laughs> whoosh. That was powerful. That. That, you felt that? that? I did. Yeah. 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 I felt that, like, all around. <laughs> Some good energy. <laughs> no, <laughs> For everyone. Oh, I, I was listening in part. <laughs> We're step one, taboo. You can say words, but not the word. No, it's not you. Oh, yeah, say the whole thing. Itachi wand. Yeah, say the whole thing. Itachi magic wand. Yeah. What is it like for you guys coming on such a queer POC backpacking trip? To have like a mostly QT Pac crew here is like pretty freaking amazing in mm. my opinion. That's why I came out here and um, came out from where I live in Colorado or so-called Colorado. I just feel instantly at home with you all and I, I feel so comfortable in my skin mm -hmm. and before I was coming here I like wrote a little something and it was just weird because I felt kind of like gasping for air a little bit like mm -hmm. you know as you're like about to cry or something I was like what is this feeling and to me it was just like I'm gonna be around people or I can be myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is magical, and I just hope I get to keep doing this over and over and over again. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? You guys don't have to endure. You're a person of color. It's fine. You've done enough. <laughs> You've done enough. I love it. I don't want to always be just the trip leader. I want to be in the wilderness with friends or in the forest with friends or outdoors in nature with friends 
and not just be the lead. I want to create the space where it just feels like we're your friends and we're going to teach you a couple more things. We're going to make you do this and that, but that it comes with that comfort and ease of hanging out with people you've known a lifetime, you know? Mm -hmm. So to me, this kind of feels like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it's just a great group. And yeah. sometimes I'm like, is it always going to be like this? But compared to the alternative, like, I think it is always mm -hmm. going to be like this yeah. easy. Imagine that all the rules that you've known in your life up to this point has been to cater to like male heteronormativity and it doesn't serve you. It never has. And we're all have been told these stories and we're all oppressed by the same systems. Whether we know if it's oppressive or not, like we feel like we have to do things in certain ways. And the real answer is like, we don't, you don't have to do anything in any way, like anything has ever been done before. God, what we could create. The possibilities are endless and limitless and things that we've never even thought of before. <laughs>